I spoke with one man who says he has faith that the federal government will do what they can to make sure the money gets here to South Lumberton, but he says he feels South Lumberton was forgotten in the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew, and he doesn't want that to happen again. It's been a devastating time over here on this street for the community, uh, for this side of town in South Lumberton. Residents on Front Street have been here before, picking up the pieces after floodwaters ravaged their neighborhood. Marcel Jackson says his aunt's home was one of many houses threatened by rising water in Hurricane Matthew and again in Hurricane Florence. Yeah, all of this is actually flooded. Um, right here you can see where some power company drove through our yard and uh, you can see how wet the ground is and also you can also see uh, during Matthew that's where the water actually came up on the brick right there. Okay, that's mm -hmm. what I thought, yeah. So that's, yep. that's a few feet of water. Right? Yes, probably, yes. Probably looks like about two or three feet. Or yeah, three. yeah. Jackson says the impacts of two major hurricanes in two years are taking a toll on the community, especially financially. But the south side of Lumpton has not received what they, what's owed to them. They have not received the, the, the benefits, the funds. We have not received the support that we need on South Lumberton. I will say that and I stand on that. As they continue waiting for federal relief funds, Governor Roy Cooper is vowing to expedite the process. We have a lot of people who were hurt twice and we've asked the federal government for flexibility in our efforts to make sure that everybody is covered. Jackson says he believes the governor, but ultimately he puts his faith in a higher power. I put my trust in God and I, and I trust him for all things. I'll say it's a blessed by God community. Uh, you have some real people here who believe in prayer. He also says some of the roads here are so badly flooded, he and some of his neighbors haven't been able to make it to work, which has taken a financial toll on the community. But he says they're all rallying together to support one another. Reporting in Lumberton, Aaron Brown for News 13. Bethany Johnson says she and her family have been living in a motel since they evacuated on Saturday. She says when they returned home and saw this, they were absolutely devastated. Just broke my heart. Alamac Road is unrecognizable after Hurricane Florence. For residents, returning to see their houses submerged in water was deja vu. There was a lot of us that were just recently getting home from Matthew, so now they, a lot of people have to go through it again and start over again. Bethany Johnson says her family recently moved back into their house after losing everything in Hurricane Matthew. They spent one year living in a motel, which they ended up returning to on Saturday. In a rush to beat the rising water, her family grabbed as much of their stuff as they could before it was too late to evacuate. When Matthew came, we had to get out by a boat, so... We didn't want to do that again, so we panicked and just grabbed what we could and left. Johnson's sons have been braving the floodwaters to get some of their belongings left behind. Johnson says her family can't keep going through this. How are you feeling throughout all of this? Good. Not good. And she hopes something is done to prevent further flooding. Make better dams and make them stronger, clean out the drains more better, so we can not have to go through this again. Some of Bethany's neighbors say they had a few inches of water rise into their houses. Others say they had a few feet. Right now, it's unknown exactly how long the recovery process will take. Reporting in Lumberton, Aaron Brown for News 13.